Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you a build for every single evolution on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. After this video, you can use every single one of these evolutions in 5 and 6 star raids. And we're going to start off with Gen 1. First up, we have Vaporeon. Now for all the Terra types, they will just be the Terra type you catch them at, which will be their own type, because each of them only have one type in. The item we're going to be using with Vaporeon is the Metronome. To get the Metronome, you're going to want to fly over to Lavincia North. Once you're here, I want you to head over to the deli bird shop click on battle items and you'll see the metronome it costs 15,000 I want you to buy seven of those for 105,000 because seven out of the eight evolutions are going to be using the metronome I will remind you on each evolution in case you don't have enough for it at the time now you have the metronome let's move on to move sets so we're going to be using surf fake tears calm mind and ice beam we're going to be using the modest nature which is up in special attack down in attack our EVs are going into special attack and HP and we're going to use the ability water absorb. Now unfortunately you learn none of these moves from level up so I'm going to show you where to get them right now. Now if you head over to any Pokemon Center to the green TM machine, fake tears will be TM number 3. It will cost you 400 points, 3 Bonsly tears and 3 Teddy Ursa claws. Surf is TM 123, will cost you 10,000 points, 5 Finneon scales, 3 Finizen mucuses and 3 Wiglet sands. Ice Beam is TM number 135. It will cost you 10,000 points, 5 Creogonal Ices, 3 Shelter Pearls and 3 Delibird Parcels. As for Carmine, it's TM number 129. It will cost you 3,000 points, 3 Stantler Hairs and 3 Indeedy Furs. Now if you're building all of these Pokemon, be prepared for a little bit of a grind because a lot of the Pokemon do use TMs as most of their moves. Now let's get into that 5 star raid. Now the reason we're doing 5 star raids is because they drop the Mysticas and that's going to be the main reason you're farming the raids I would imagine. So you're going to start off by using fake tears. If they're a special attacker you're going to start with calm mind and you're going to use two of those. We're going to use fake tears again. Vaporeon's underground for some reason. Well guess we won't be seeing Vaporeon for the rest of the fight. Oh there she is. Oh never mind. So we're going to use surf after we've used two fake tears and get above ground again. Reason we didn't use a third fake tears is we risk him removing all the negative effects from himself like that. Now we're going to use Surf again. There's a little bit of damage. He does have a shield up. We use Surf one more time. He stole some of our Terra Charge so we can't Terra so we're just going to use Surf one more time. We nearly broke the shield. Now we're not going to Terra because he's just used Home Claws. We're just going to attack him once and break his shield ready for the Terra when we come back. Now we could take him out right here if we do enough damage. We do do enough damage. And that's the Crocodile down. Nice little Herba Mystica. Next up we have the Electric Boy himself. Jolteon. Now Jolteon's going to be using the metronome as well. If you forgot where to get that, I'm going to show you real quick. Go to Lavincia North. Once you're here, go to the Deli Bird Shop. Click on Battle Items and there it is for 15,000. Now our ability on Jolteon will be the Vault Absorb. We're going to be using Modest, which is up in Special Attack, down in Attack. Our EVs are going into Special Attack and HP. And our moves will be Fundable, Fake Tears, Calm Mind and Discharge. The only move that we can learn through level up here is Discharge. For some reason we we don't learn Thunderbolt from level up, but we can learn Fake Tears, which is 400 points, free Bonsly Tears, free Teddy Ursa Claws, uh, Car Mind, which is 3,000 points, free Stantler Hairs and free Indeedy Furs, and Thunderbolt, which is 10,000 points, five Pachirisu Furs. Once you've got all that, you're good to go. Now, I'm going to show you where to get the uh, Mint real quick, because I forgot to show you with uh, Vaporeon. You want to fly over to Mesa Goza West near the school. Once you're at Mesa Goza West, you want to follow me through this little archway and you want to keep going in a straight line when you get to the end of the circle turn right there'll be a black and green shop and this is where you get all the mints from so the modest mint will cost you 20,000 now that we found a five star raid let's get straight into it so we're against a special attacker so we're going to start off with calm mind then we're going to use calm mind again so we're at plus two special attack and special defense then we're going to use fake tears we're going to use fake tears again Hatteran has used calm mind but that shouldn't be too much trouble and then we're going to use thunderbolt see how much damage it does it does quite a lot of damage puts her into to the red and the shield goes up now she's removed negative effects from herself and then use calm mind again so now we're on even terms she's so low on health though we're just gonna keep using thunderbolt now this shouldn't kill it doesn't we're gonna use it one more time so if we do die then we can just come back and finish her off okay we do get finished off and then we can use thunderbolt when we come back it doesn't finish i forgot that it used calm mind twice but one more thunderbolt will do the job and then we've done the five star raid nice little ability capsule now next on the list is going to be flareon our flareon is also going to be using the metronome uh, you can get the metronome if you just fly over to the 
Slovinsky North and go to the Deli Bird shop, which is just right here. I don't want to keep showing that over and over and over again, though. Now, our Flareon isn't actually a physical Flareon. It's a special attacking Flareon because Flare Blitz would just finish us off straight away because the amount of health these raids have. So we are using the Modest Nature, which you can get from the Chansey shop in the Mesagoza West, like I showed you before. Our EVs are going into Special Attack and HP. We're going to use the ability Flash Fire and our moves are going to be Flamethrower, Fake Tears, Calm Mind and Lava Plume. Now Lava Plume we will be able to learn through Level Up. You can learn Fake Tears using 400 points, free Bonsai Tears and free Teddy Ursa Claws. Calm Mind using 3000 points, free Stantler Hairs and free Indeedy Furs. And Flamethrower which is TM number 125 you can learn with 10,000 points, 5 Litleo Tufts, 3 Houndor Fangs and 3 Numal Lavas. Once you've got all this we're good to go. Is that a shiny Pokemon? Oh it is? That's funny. These recordings recently got all the luck in them. Yeah yeah, there we go. Well, we found a five star raid. It is an event raid. Let's get into it. So, Gengar's a special attacker, so we're gonna start off with a calm mind. Because it has nightshade, we're going straight into fake tears. It uses nightshade again. We should be able to get one more fake tears off and then attack. And now we're gonna use flamethrower to see how much it does. Wait, clear smoke. That eliminate his stat changes. Oh, just mine. Just mine. Okay. No. Well, our flamethrower doesn't work anymore. I think that has a 30% chance of happening. Lovely. At least we have lava plume still, though. So, he he uses Nightshade, puts us on 9 health. We use Lava Plume. So he uses Nightshade again to finish us off. Now we're going to start off with Lava Plume this time to see if it gets disabled. It does. So now we can use Flamethrower and next turn we'll be able to Terra. Now that we can Terra, we're going to do that and do a lot more damage. Oh, he used Sludge Bomb. So now we're going to use Flamethrower. It breaks his shield and now he's just one shot from dying. We attack first this time for some reason so we can finish him off with one last attack. Now the Nightshade was a little bit annoying but we finished it with a reasonable amount of time remaining. Next up we have Espeon with the metronome. A quick reminder to get the metronome you will go to Lavincia North. Once you're here you will go to this Deli Bird presence right here. It'll cost you 15,000. Now the ability for Espeon is going to be Magic Bounce. Our Nature is going to be Modest up in Special Attack down in Attack. And our EVs are going into HP and Special Attack. Our moves are going to be Psychic, Fake Tears, Stored Power and Calm Mind. You can learn Psychic through Level Up. Fake Tears we can get from the TM Machine. It will cost you 400 points, free Bonsai Tears, free Teddy Ursa Claws. Stored Power will cost you 800 points, free Gafita Eyelashes, free Rolts Dust. And Calm Mind will cost you 3000 points, free Stantler Hairs and free Indeedy Furs. Now that we've found a 5 star raid, we can get straight into it. So we're going to use Fake Tears first turn. We're going to use it second turn. And we're going to use it third turn. Hopefully the Arcanine doesn't do a lot of damage so we can get an attack in. Okay, we do get an attack in. See how much damage it does. It finishes him off. Well, that was fast. Espeon, the goat, and a Mystica. Up next, Umbreon with the Metronome. Quick reminder, if you want the Metronome, you can go to Lavincia North, and then you want to go to the Deli Bird Presence that will cost you 15,000. And all the Nature Mints are in Mesagoza. You just want to zoom in, and it'll be at this Chansey Supply right here. Now, you might be thinking, how am I going to take on a 5-star raid with Umbreon? It's a good question. Going full special attack, baby. Now, Umbreon is normally a support Pokemon. Like, you will probably never see an attacking Umbreon in a raid ever but we couldn't just leave Umbreon out so we're going to be using the modest nature which is up in special attack down in attack we're going to be using synchronize as the ability our EVs are going into special attack and HP our moves are going to be dark pulse fake tears calm mind and snarl now on Umbreon we can actually learn two moves just through level up dark pulse and snarl fake tears and calm mind however you will have to come to a TM machine use 400 points free bonsai tears and free teddy Ursa claws for the fake tears and 3000 points free stantler hairs and free indeedy furs for the calm mind now let's attempt to take on a five star raid with umbreon we have found one it is Delphinius. let's get straight into the raid look at that defense we're going to start off with a fake tears and then we're going to use fake tears again and then we're going to use a third fake tears so the palafins are minus six special defense i doubt we'll one shot it i doubt we'll come anywhere close but here's to hoping so now we're going to use dark pulse see how much damage it does actually it does quite a bit of damage oh palafins using bulk up this could be trouble if it was a special attacker we would just use snarl and then it's special attack i just go right down it would do no damage to us i suppose we're gonna build up our terror so we can terrestrialize when we come back after we die if we die anyway you know what we're just using it right now here we go umbreon here we go so we have terrored the umbreon let's see what it can do so we use dark pulse can it take the shield off can it come close uh, it was decent so we used another dark pulse and it just killed it straight away i'm telling you this umbreon 
the new meta. Attacking Umbreon, spread the word. Next up, we have Leafeon, who will also be holding the metronome. If you want the metronome, you can fly over to Lavincia North and go to the Deli Bird Shop, which is right here. If you want Nature Mints, you can fly over to Mesa Goza and head to the Chansey Supply Shop. Let's get into the build. So first of all, Leafeon will be our only physical attacker in the entire evolution line. So we will be using the Adamant Mint, which is up and attack, down in special attack. Our EVs are going into HP and attack. We're going to use Leaf Guard. Our attacks are going to be Leaf Blade, Swords Dance, Leech Seed, and Curse. Now Curse is an egg move, so I'm going to show you where to get that real quick. I want you to put a waypoint on these ruins right here on the map. They're just to the right of Lost Platos East. Once you're at these ruins, there will be a load of Ghastly here. They may only spawn at night, I'm not too sure. And then you want to catch a Ghastly and level it up to a point where it knows Curse. And then we're going to fly over to Cascrafa North. Once you're here, jump over the little lakey thing and then go to the Deli Bird Shop. Click on Battle Items. Scroll down a little bit until you find the Mirror Herb. It'll cost you 30,000. So make sure Leafeon has three or less moves. You're going to need an open slot. Equip the Mirror Herb to Leafeon. Make sure Ghastly Haunter or Gengar is in your party with the move Curse. And once you go in a picnic, wait 30 seconds, come out of it. Your Leafeon should know Curse. Now you'll only really need to use this move when you're taking heavy physical damage from the opposing Pokemon because most of the time Swords Dance and Leaf Blade will be enough. Okay so we found a 5 star raid let's get straight into it. So turn 1 we're going to use Leech Seed. This will keep giving us health back all fight even if they remove negative effects. Oh Trick Room. A sneaky one eh? Then we're going to use Swords Dance. We're going to use Swords Dance a second time. It used Trick Room again does that mean it's back to normal? We're going to use Swords Dance again because we're going to go for the one hit kill. Can it? It's just used Calm Mind. Hopefully it doesn't one hit kill me. We're going to use Leaf Blade. Hopefully get the first attack. We do. Does it finish it? Yes, it does. Leafeon. Just too good. No one can resist the power of a leaf. And we got an ability capsule. <laughs> and the next Pokemon on the list is Glaceon. And it's going to be holding, you guessed it, the Metronome. Now to get Metronome, you're going to want to fly over to Lavincia North. And if you go to the Deli Bird Shop right here, you can get it from there. If you need Mints, you can fly over to Mesa Goza and go to the Chansey Supply Shop. Now, our moveset is going to be Ice Beam, Fake Tears, Calm Mind, and Freeze Dry. Our ability is going to be Snow. No cloak. We're going to be using the modest nature up in special attack, down in attack. Our EVs are going into special attack and HP. Now Glaceon can learn freeze dry just from level up. But if you want the other three moves, you're going to have to come from a TM machine. You can get fake tears with 400 points, free bonsai tears, free Teddy Ursa claws. Car Mind is going to be 3,000 points, free Stantler hairs, free Indeedy furs. And Ice Beam is going to be 10,000 points, five Creogonal ices, free Shelter pearls, and free Deli Bird parcels. And that will be TM135. Once you've got all these, you're good to go. Okay, so we found a five star raid. We're gonna get straight into it. So we're gonna be using fake tears, turn one. We're gonna be using it again, turn two. I think Gyarados has quite high special defense, actually. Oh no, not the hurricane. No, come on, Glaceon, I believe. I refuse to believe you can't break through this. There we go, that's the homie. Hurricane, ha, I laugh at you. So we're gonna break through the confusion again. There we go, see how much that does. Wow, that didn't do that much at all. No, now it can't miss it. Uh, hurricane. We're just gonna keep using Ice Beam. Come on, miss. Whatever you're using, just miss. Damn it. Dead eye. <gasps> One health. Let's go. Oh no, I'm confused. Oh, don't do this to me. Need one more attack for Terra. Don't do this to me. Yes, Glaceon. You are the GOAT. When we come back, we can just Terra. Do some real damage. This Gyarados' special defense is annoying though. Let's do this. Get this Terra rolling. See how much this does. Oh, a lot of damage. You can steal my Terra Charge all you want. It used Hydro Pump. Luckily, we avoided it. I think that would have killed us. I mean, skillfully, we avoided it. And then use Ice Beam. It's on one hit. And we removed its shield. Uh, the rain stopped it. It was meant to be. Go on, Glacier. Finish him off. Boom. And the Gyarados is down. Not even close. Sometimes you just gotta, like, uh, give him a bit of hope. Make him think they're gonna win. And then you just beat him. And then take the Mystica. No. And up last, and clearly the best, because it's my favourite, is Silver. Sylveon. Now we're going to be using the Life Orb on Sylveon. I'll show you where to get that right now. You want to fly over to Mesagos out west and you're going to follow me. We're going to go through this archway and we're going to go to the middle of this circle. Don't forget that's the mint shop right there but we're going to be going this way towards the stairs. Once you reach the stairs go all the way down to the bottom and then we're going to be turning left onto this road. Keep following the road until you find the shop right here. We're going to be clicking battle items and about halfway down there will be a Life Orb for 50,000. 
thousand, a little bit pricey, but it's going to be worth it. Now our move set is going to be Hyper Voice, Fake Tears, Calm Mind, and Draining Kiss. Now our ability is the key here. It's Pixelate. It's the hidden ability. If you can't get the hidden ability, instead of Hyper Voice, you can just use Moon Blast instead. But Hyper Voice and Draining Kiss are level up moves. Fake Tears and Calm Mind are both TMs. So you will have to come to the green TM machine. So Fake Tears cost 400 points, free Bonsai Tears, free Claws of Teddy Ursa. And Calm Mind costs 3,000 points, free Stantler Hairs, and free Indeedy Furs. You're going to be collecting a lot of items if you want to make all these evolutions. But they're cool Pokemon, so it's going to be worth it. Now we're going to be using the Modest Nature, which is up in Special Attack, down in Attack. Our EVs are going into Special Attack and HP. Okay, so we found a 5 star raid. Let's get straight into it. We're going to use Fake Tears first turn because he's a physical attacker. We're going to use Fake Tears again second turn. We can't use it again though because Arcanine's doing too much damage, so we're just going to have to use Hyper Voice before that shield goes up. So we use Hyper Voice. Let's see how much damage. Whoa, nearly kills it. And we only use two fake tears. And you can clearly see why Sylveon is the best. Please let me attack. Stop flinching me. Okay, that's one more hit until it's gone. Oh yeah, if you are losing uh, a lot of health, you can just use Draining Kiss and then you'll get your health back. And if you're terrored, that Draining Kiss will just get so much health back, especially if you've got boosts. And the birdie boy is down. And we got a spicy Mystica and a bottle cap. And that's everyone. Let me know who your favorite evolution is to use for raids in this game. If you've enjoyed the video smash that like button subscribe so you don't miss any more pokemon scarlet and violet content if you don't have any of the evolutions yet click on screen right now and i'll catch you on the next one